오랜만이야 10년이면 강산도 변한다던데 넌 말이야 얼마나 Good morning you guys, my name is Akronama if you're new here and welcome to my everyday makeup routine Now my everyday makeup routine y'all <laughs> Y'all know what it is, I'm gonna be wearing this lipstick Y'all know what it is, I'm gonna be wearing this lipstick Y'all know what it is, I'm gonna be wearing this lipstick it's the simplest, most simplest makeup routine I think on the planet. I basically do like four steps and I'm done. Why? Because I don't like spending hours in the morning or you know whatever time it is that I wake up trying to look, I don't know, like I'm going for a fashion show or something. I just do a little bit of something to just make me look alive for the day and that's it. I do get very glammy glammy if I have somewhere to go but if I'm just chilling in the house, going shopping or running errands, I do very, very minimal makeup and I'm gonna show you guys right now. So first things first, let's spread my skin because um, I've just, I've literally just washed my face. So I'll just, um, I'll just tone and moisturize my face for the morning. Simple. So for my toner, I use this La Roche Posay again. Y'all, I know I've been saying this a lot, but I do use um, La Roche Posay a lot. So this is the soothing lotion for sensitive skin. It basically soothes, tones, protects from. I don't know what it protects from, but it's basically the toner. So I really like it. One, it smells so good, <laughs> and also it just makes my skin so 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 glowy, like. My skin just looks like it's actually been moisturized when I use this. So I just put it a little on the cotton pad and it just super cross my face. If you guys could smell how good this smells, I just really like it a lot. And then never ever ever forget your neck. Your neck is part of your face skincare, so always, always remember your neck. And then you just pat it in with my fingers. I don't know if it does something, but I always assume it kind of helps it sink in. And then I move on to my moisturizer, which is La Roche Posay again. My cleanse is also La Roche Posay. Y'all, I am just obsessed. So this is the Efacla line for oily sensitive skin. So I just put a little on my face, doesn't really need a lot, just a little. Again, remember to bring down all your products to your neck. Okay, so guys, moving on to my makeup, I start with this Black Opal Total Coverage Concealer and I just mostly put it under my eyes, like, you know, to erase any black eye or something. I just always start with the, I just always place it under my eye, just, you know, brighten that area. And then the little extra product, I just sweep it down the rest of my cheek. Just so you know, to give it a little more coverage. Just a little. So basically, I always just use any extra product that means just go across the rest of my face, you know, just a little bit. And then after my concealer, I always do my setting spray. Why? I don't know. I just, I think I just start setting my makeup from, you know, the foundation basically. A little fanning. Always make sure before I put any other product, the the setting spray is completely dry. And then next I go in with my Black Opal True Color Ultra Matte Foundation Powder. I like this. It's a powder, it's a foundation, it's the perfect companion for a day where I don't want to do a lot of makeup. 
Now this is where I take my time because I like to cover every bit of my face with it because this is the only product that you know that really that I really use on my face. So I like to make sure I get all corners and make my face even. Guys, next I'm gonna move in with my black opal super super volumizing mascara. Um, this is what I use for my eyebrows and my eyelashes at the same time because, like I said, I'm trying to limit how much products I use and how much time I take. So when I'm doing my regular glow, like you know, I'm going somewhere, I always do my eyebrows the correct way. But when I'm just you know doing my normal day errands I just did this tiny little you know improvement just to bring in some color and some shape because as you can see when I was doing when I was doing the powder um, I was bought it everywhere including my eyebrows just to put everything in check Sometimes mascara decides to just misbehave. Why? I don't know. Mascara is just it's a very fragile thing to work with. <laughs> so I'm gonna fix that first. Give me a second. And the next step, yo, we are about to finish my makeup. So the next thing I do is I use this Amuse Contour and Define palette. And I mostly just use a blush and sometimes the highlighter first to the blush. I use blush just to get to you and give me some color to my face. You never go out without a blush. So I put a gen generous amount of blush on it. Child, like I go in with it. Most of my everyday makeup routine is basically powdered stuff except the concealer because I don't know, powder sets in pretty nicely if you don't want a thick layer of makeup on you, powder is the best way to go. Basically make sure it's covered my cheekbone. in the right way <laughs> and then for the final step I take my fluffy brush once more the one that I was using to apply my powdered foundation and then I just go across just you know basically I'm blending everything just like that and then since my t-zone gets like it sweats a lot like my t-zone gets very shiny very fast so i just go over it again that's the only place where i redo the powder foundation i just go through it again just like that And then the very, very, very last step is I'm going to be using um, this Fenty Beauty Hit. Um, it's a glass balm hit, Lemon Lava number 5. It's the last step I do. I just, you know, put a thin layer on. And basically, I'm done. I am done for my makeup. So now, I'm gonna quickly get my clothes on and then we're gonna do my hair.
Everyone's lining up to see her. 